Well, there's Jewelry Hill. That stand of trees right there, this large tree right here in front, that's Jewelry Hill up on top there. They cut a road going right in the middle of Jewelry Hill and about half of Jewelry Hill up there, it's about 200 feet from that large tree right here in the, in the foreground and then to the, to the other back trees. Right on top of there, there used to be a, a large uh, play area in between the lots of buildings, huge buildings right around here, big lines of buildings, an old state hospital grounds. Those are dormitories there. And half of Jewelry Hill, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but up there is a fence. Half of Jewelry Hill is gonna be set aside for a park. This stand, stand of trees right here is gonna be set aside for a park. And that's why I work over there, all that big subdivision over there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but um, all those buildings over there, we have 19, uh, 19 buildings over there that we're, we're building. And then uh, one, one developer owns this property right here, all Jewelry Hill. He doesn't want us dig digging on that property anymore, but we have another permission right here. Um, right here where we found quite a few rings up in the rubble piles up here just just beyond the rubble piles here there were several bu buildings here um this is where we explored that cave at here or that uh the tunnels that go in between all these buildings all these buildings all these buildings used to have tunnels going in, in, uh between them um even over there where where i work at um there was lots and lots of buildings up there. There was many, many buildings up there too. They leveled it all out. Um, then they then they fill, put some fill in there and we're gonna be putting, uh, actually we have, there's 18 buildings. We have 18 buildings over there and then we have, we're gonna be putting another 250 units over here, which is like 19, 19 uh, buildings. And then there used to be some buildings up there on the up by that water tower up there and these were the dormitories too here this is the rubble piles where jim and i um somebody's been dumping some stuff here um this is the rubble piles that jim and i've been rubble lark larking in and i'm gonna grab my knocks here and i'm gonna head up to the hill because i have permission on this property and of course my property the property where i work at uh just just beyond the property there there's a lot of there's a lot of trees inside of the subdivision there that where we're building at where i've found horseshoes and stuff and it's really hard there's a lot of huge iron there so i'm going to grab my knocks here and i'm going to go up to the hill up there and i'm going to see if i can smack a ring out up here um they've changed it all around so i i don't know if i'm going to be able to get go over this way but th there's concrete right here this is where a huge buildings of course you know the rubble piles are rubble piles are obvious that the buildings were here but um yeah they they cut my access off over here so but anywhere around here you know this is concrete you know this is a pathway right around here right around this building here and I have permission to dig here and the grass is low now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some detecting right here because a pathway used to come right out down here. You can see where they ripped up the gravel right there. They ripped, they ripped the, uh, the, the, the stairway out. There used to be a stairway right here and that's down that hole right there. That is where the tunnels are at right there but i'm just going to detect right around here just because i know that um there there could be some rings here up in that stand of trees that's where we found quite a few rings i might even go up there see if i can make it up over there um it's just super muddy right there it's just soupy i step in that mud down there right where that right down there in that grass and it's like six inches deep of just sloppy mud so I don't want to start out my day like that. I just got off of work. <laughs> I just got off of work. <laughs> and Jim was going to meet me up here. But Jim had to go to Portland. So I'm metal teching up here alone. I don't really like metal teching up here alone because there's big cats. There's cougars up here. Mountain lions, panthers, whatever you want to call them, pumas. They're all the same cat. They're all the same species. But, well... I'm gonna try it just for a little while until it gets dark.
I forgot my head headlamp, but um, I'm not going to be. My truck is just right down there, right, right down by the road. They already put a, a, a an asphalt road down there where my truck is at, and then this is all gravel here. I don't know when they're going to start developing it, but we started at the same time. All of this subdivision here is they're just going slow. We already got 18 buildings up. <laughs> We're, we're going to start the other buildings, um, the other 19 buildings, probably in about a month. Should take us about a year and a half or so to, to get them all up and finished and get the residents in. And residents are moved in. Uh, they just moved in this last week and we still got a lot of work to do. So you know how it is with residents and construction workers, man. They don't, there's not a good com combination, man. We'll just have a lot of complaints about cussing and spitting and we can't even look at the residents, you know, uh, we can't even look at them or we'll, we'll, we'll get in trouble. Um, but they're moving in. There's one, one building has residents in it already. They've been moving in this last week, kind of, and there's just mud everywhere. It's just crazy, man. They just put some uh, sod in today in that new building that they've already moved into. And uh, we, we got another building that people are going to start move. residents are going are gonna to start moving into in about uh, probably two weeks, three weeks. But my beard's all messed up because I have had to, have to wear a face mask because this face mask stuff. Have to, we have to all have to sign a waiver in the morning. Same, same that we haven't been around any COVID stuff. So, but you know, it makes my beard all just matted down. I was thinking about making making a mask out of my beard, just putting it up like this. I went into my boss and I said, hey, hey boss, will this work? It, it's not working right now, but it went in front of my mouth. I said, hey, will this work for a mask? He says, no. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.